What up, peeps? Mr. Goodher here, back with another video just full of bangers. I just wanted to do another late night round of bangers because why not? Just to show you some some of my uh some of my treasures. I decided to do a round of sensual just masterpieces that I find that's just work in those situations when you just wanna drop those panties down. Number one, this is um from the house of Gurlan. This is Lom Idiel EDP. Um yeah, had it for about a month now. Uh, we're talking cherry, almond. I mean, right from the get, as soon as I smelled it, um, it, it, it was just a love it for sniff. It was obviously something that um, that I was going to have for a very long time, and um, I, I love it. Um, it's just um, as soon as you put it on, it's, it's sort of a it's a it's a poofy fragrance. So there's um, there's a cloud around you, and then but it, it, it's it's wonderful. It's awesome. And especially if you're a dude, I mean, it's not really something that you look forward to, you know, it's in a fragrance, something that you, that you would find appealing, but it works, trust me. And, uh, yeah, women love this fragrance on a guy. I mean, that's just that cherry almond combination and it, and it, and it, it smooths down the dry down. It's just this nice vanilla, it's just an awesome fragrance. I love it. And, um, every time I wear it, I just, I love it more and more. Yeah. This is a uh, Lom IDL EDP from the House of Berlin. Awesome fragrance. Come on now. You know what it is. Savage from the House of Dior. Oh yeah. I bit the bullet. I, I paid from the very, when it first came out, I I did. I paid uh, the, the 150, whoa, I paid 130. Uh, Macy's had a sale, so I did get a little discount on it, but yeah. Come on now. I mean, I've tried the, the, the EDP, the EDT, you know, every other, you know, iteration of of, uh, of uh, Sauvage. And to me, this one, this one's the best. It's the combination of every Sauvage, in my opinion. This is, is you know, with, with, with just spices. This is the combination of every Sauvage. So you just get a, you know, just a round of everything. Um, spicy, clean, fresh, um, still a winter scent. I would, you know, I, I, I wouldn't wear this in the summertime in the heat. You know, other than that, I, I do find it, you know, pretty versatile anytime, anywhere. This stuff is amazing and the best version of Sauvage, in my opinion. Love this stuff. Um, it's a beast, you know, 10 to 12 hours on my skin. You know, one of the longest lasting fragrances I have. Love it. You know, Dior Sauvage, Elixir. <sighs> Killian. Oh yeah, Black Phantom. Um, by Killian. Um, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I've only had this for a few days. Um, I've smelled it. Obviously, I'm in love with it. Rum chocolate uh, uh, uh just uh, this this sweeting I, I i don't know just sort of like different sweetness that i that i can't i can't decipher i don't know what it is you know i'm fairly my nose is fairly new to the game so i'm still trying to figure out notes and stuff like that <clears throat> but you're talking about a gourmand dream i mean if you love fragrances that are packed full of you know rum and coffee and stuff like that you are going to love this fragrance and yeah you know, I'm still going to do some testing on it, but I'll get back to you on it. But uh, yeah, smell wise, yeah, it's a 10 out of 10. This is a, this is a dream fragrance right here. Love it. Yeah. Dolce & Gabbana, the one, EDP. I, I've never had more luck with the ladies than with this one. Um, yeah, we've had some adventures. Seriously, this is a... This is a this is a panty dropper for sure. This is the ultimate. This is just a masterpiece, you know. If there was one fragrance that got me into the game, that got me, you know, in love with fragrances, it's this one. You know, as soon as I smelt it, it was it was it was over. It was done. 
I'm getting low. I got I got to get some more. This this stuff is just heavenly. I mean, it's just so sensual, so great, you know. And I I definitely plan to do an in-depth uh, you know, analysis of this and to let you know why I feel this, you know, what, what, what I do about it, you know, how I feel the way I do, why I feel the way I do, but yeah, this, this juice definitely holds a special place in my heart. Love it, man. It's the best. Dolce and, Gab Dolce and Gabbana, the one EDP. Yeah. Forever. One of my favorites. And the ladies love it. Of course, dark, mysterious, and just, yeah. And the last one. Uh, okay. Pasha de Cartier. Parfum. From the house of, Par of Cartier. How can I describe this fragrance? Um, the one thing I can say is... Uh, I always... Every time I spray it on, I picture myself walking inside of a jazz club. Just, just close your eyes. And then you, you're walking into the building. And you know, on one side of the room, you just see this, 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 this jazz, this band just going crazy, right? And they're just, they're just, they're just really killing it. You just, you know, you're really getting into it. And then on the other side of the room, you know, you see these, you know, these big, you know, million dollar guys with cigars, and they're just drinking and smoking and just having a blast. And um, you just see all this activity going on in the room. And just the smell of it, of the booze and the, the cigar and the, the sweetness and the, and the, just the, you know, it, it's, it truly is a fragrance that just brings up just, just, you know, memories and, and activities in my head. And, and, you know, it's weird, but, uh, you know, spices and, you know, incense and just, yeah, boozy, 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 boozy. If you don't like, you know, boozy fragrances, you're not going to like this. Long-lasting beast. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, love it. Love it. Yeah. Just a few more in my collection. Yeah. And plenty more to go. All right. The sensual masters. No, I'm just kidding. Peace.